Now the final aspect that we're going to explore before you do your final presentations of your own educational technology ideas next week is the criticisms that are leveled at educational technology and edtech industry in particular. So there are a range of valid criticisms of educational technology. Um, there are many, many instances where educational technologies have not worked, that we put a lot of money into um, these technologies without seeing any particular um, exceptional benefits to the educational process. And indeed, unfortunately, that's the case in the majority of instances. Um, education in terms of the outcomes achievable by education have not changed dramatically despite significant investment of educational technologies into the process. Now, no one's necessarily saying to stop using educational technology. There's been too much invested into that. Um, there have been a lot of savings made around online education and the use of systems in that respect. But particularly in K-12 education, there haven't been dramatic improvements as yet. It's not to say that that may not still eventuate, but certainly there hasn't been um, that evidenced to date. So we need to understand that technology, while it offers solutions, indeed that's essentially what defines it, those solutions are not necessarily guaranteed. And we need to consider all applications of educational technology from that framework. For one thing, by investing in educational technology, we necessarily don't have the same amount of money to invest in other aspects of education. For example, employing more teachers or giving teachers higher wages. So these are trade-offs. And if educational technology is not necessarily seeing strong outcomes, then that causes it to be come into question. It's not to say that more teachers and so forth does also lacks evidence around uh, improvements in educational outcomes. Education by its nature is difficult to show causal relationships, but uh, nevertheless, that is a criticism of educational technology. So we need to apply a, a conceptual framework around justifying when to utilize educational technologies and to make the argument that the benefit outweighs um, the cost and that there is a reasonable likelihood at least of showing some effective outcomes as a result of the implementation of the educational technology. And this then also can be applied more broadly when we look at technology in society, particularly as we're now seeing the emergence of artificial intelligence and other aspects where technology is playing a big impact upon society well, we haven't necessarily considered all the potential implications of that and certainly haven't necessarily weighed up and insisted on any sort of evaluative framework that provides an argument that things will be better as a result of the implementation of the technology. So these are some of the issues that we're going to be discussing in our final tutorial before your final week next week where we're going to be looking at your contributions in terms of the ideas that you present for your own educational technologies.